Want a soda? This will cost you more in Philadelphia because politicians there voted to tax these. Eyes are 13, the nays are four, majority members president. Listen to the applause. The sugar sweet beverage tax. There was more applause when the bill was signed. The politicians said the tax will fund early childhood education. This will be great for this community and to help a lot of families. But store owners say it's a bad tax. Melvin Robinson, who runs Bruno's Pizza, says the soda tax is killing his business. What do your customers say? What they say, they're not buying it. I refuse to buy soda in Philadelphia. For a 20-ounce soda, almost $3. So instead of buying at Bruno's, they cross the street because Bruno's is located right on the outer edge of Philly. Do I got to get a soda or a juice? I go right across the street. Right, these customers just cross the street, save a buck. When I want something to drink, I go right there. But he comes here for the pizza. Yeah, yeah, they got the best slice in town. But the soda tax still punishes Melvin. This happens whenever local governments impose special new taxes. Like who should pay $3 for a drink that they used to get for 99 cents? If customers can escape, they will. Do the politicians think about that? So a buck more mm -hmm. for one of these. It definitely is more, but it's for what we feel are good, is a good reason, for a good cause. City Councilman William Greenlee says Philadelphia needs the tax money. Nothing else that we could come up with could raise that kind of, uh, that kind of funding. But soda taxes are disproportionately paid by poor people. Even so-called progressives campaigned against this tax. You don't have to fund childcare on the backs of the poorest people in this city. That's a regressive way to raise funds. It hits the poor most. <laughs> well, Even Bernie Sanders opposes this tax. <laughs> um, I didn't know Bernie opposed it, but okay. Remember, we're raising enough money to uh, put 2,700 kids in, in pre-K and to open 11 community schools. The pizza parlor's customers didn't think their taxes were being well spent. Preschool? I doubt that very much. The mayor says he's helping people. He ain't helping me, he's tearing me up. Meanwhile, taxes create unintended consequences. Soda sales are way down. But sales of more harmful products are up. Now some people mm -hmm. are buying li more liquor. Less Coke, more liquor. Mm, I don't know about that. Because we have a liquor tax too, so. <laughs> Politicians love taxes on unhealthy things. And so do the media. They applauded when Denmark taxed fatty food. Denmark has decided to implement what they're calling a fat tax. Basically, you go to the supermarket, you buy a food that has above a certain level of fat, they charge you extra. All right, do we feel good about this, Doc? Absolutely. But Danes just crossed the border to shop in other countries. Within a year, Denmark repealed its fat tax. But Philadelphia isn't repealing anything. People in this town mm -hmm. already pay 44 taxes. Mm -hmm. State income tax, sales tax, cigarette and alcohol taxes. Mm -hmm. Philadelphia has a very high income tax compared to other places. Mm -hmm. How can you not have enough money? The you wage tax is high. In money. And that, oh, I don't know about that, but there's a lot to do out there, John. Four million for the Office of Arts and Culture. Mm -hmm funded two sessions of dance instruction, teach youth empowerment, social issues through hip hop. Office of Arts and Culture does a very good job in the city of Philadelphia. Like we need that, like we need that. They're funding the arts. What arts? People are trying to live. Politician says we gotta raise money. Stop stealing, that would be nice. I don't know that he's stealing, but he pays himself 121,000 bucks a year. Wow. You make mm -hmm. 121000 a year, three times what the median income, mm -hmm. what your citizens make. Well, I don't think that's terribly unusual for elected officials. Sadly, he's right. Politicians routinely make much more than the people they allegedly serve. A lot of citizens should make more money. Uh, you know, I'm, uh, you know, well, they but, can't make more money when you're taxing them to death. Well, I don't think we're taxing them to death. The politicians always want more. And the restaurants? They just have to pay.